Beloved, I greet you today from the city of the Great King with the Shabbat Shalom. I want to share with you today something that I think is so <clears throat> prophetic and valid in every child of God's life. And I had the privilege today to go to the exact place where the Lord spoke to Abram in Genesis 12. We read that Abram went to the the area of Shechem near the Terebinth of Moreh, and there God appeared to him. And it was in this place that the Lord said to him, I'm giving you this land and I'm blessing you. And it's a promise. And it's a, it's a promise. It was an unconditional promise. It, the land was an unconditional promise. And that is, of course, why today there is such a contention for this land of Israel, and especially the heartland. Elon Moreh is in the heartland. It's in Samaria. And you have to, to really go through dangerous territory to get there with Palestinian villages everywhere. And the small settlements that the Jews have started everywhere in, the, in that area, they all have to be guarded. And many of the attacks that you read of usually happen in these small settlements where you maybe have eight families or ten families. They are just starting up. But they are taking back the heartland because that is what God has commanded them to do. He has commanded them to build and to plant and they are really doing it and they are courageous and they have the most amazing heart and they are really walking in a relationship with the Father, waiting for the Messiah but walking in a relationship with the Father and one can really honor and respect them for who they are and for, for what they stand for. But I'm sending you some footage of Elon Moray. We went there. We were there at six o'clock this morning, and it was a hazy morning after a heat wave the whole week. Um, but it was just so amazing to put our feet on this mountain top and to go back to the scriptures and to see that this is the place where God appeared to Abram and made a promise. And this was like four thousand years ago. And today, we live in the times where the fulfillment of that promise is manifesting. And it's been manifesting, it will be 70 years next year, that the land of Israel has been restored and the people of Israel have returned. And I just stood there today and I said, Lord, I, I really want you to talk to me here today. And I want you to um, just impress on my heart what is on your heart for for all of us in this time. And as I stood there, I realized that the Lord appeared on that mountain and that the Lord spoke to Abraham and that every word that the Lord spoke is still recorded in the stone, in the stones of that mountain. And I felt that I wanted to pick up a stone and I said, Lord, give me a special stone today. And as I just said that, <clears throat> the guy who was sharing with us, he said exactly the same thing, that the words of the Lord are still recorded on this mountain. And at the stage, I just looked down and I picked up a stone and it was really a very interesting stone because it actually has the shape of the land of Israel. And I'm going to send you a photo of that stone. And what I felt, and this is what we've come to do for the Feast of Tabernacles this year. We have come to celebrate the faithfulness of God to his promises because he's not a man that he should lie. And my encouragement to you today on this Shabbat starting here from the city of the great king is that go back to your promises during this Shabbat and know that he who has promised is faithful. For many of us, we've been waiting a long time for certain promises and we have subtly given up on it. But I want to just say to you today, and my prayer is, as you watch and listen, that you will truly receive the faith of Yeshua to know that what he has promised, he will bring to pass. I bless you from Jerusalem.